guys, welcome to another video. I am Debbie, the Crafty Diamond. Today I have an unboxing and I said I wasn't going to do this. Whenever it came in, I was just going to put this box up and bring it out in July and work on it for a Christmas in July event or just create my own event, do it for myself, but it couldn't be helped. I got this, got so excited. This is my unicorn. I have been stalking Dreamer Designs since they actually had this on their website as a you know new release. I didn't want it. Two days later, I did. It was gone. So I have really been watching. It came back in stock last week, and I jumped on this. This is none other than White Christmas. I am so excited for this. This is a 35.4 by 23.6 inches or a 90 by 60 centimeters. It is a large one, but this is by the McNeil Studio. I was not going to do another one. I have so many in my whips, but I have to at least unbox it, and my husband said, if you unbox it, you are going to kit it up and you're gonna start working on it. Yeah, I probably will. I may not get it finished for Christmas. I probably will not get it finished for Christmas, but it is going to put me in a very happy place. It is going to put me into the Christmas spirit, which I desperately need this year, and so I'm gonna work on it. So never say never, especially on my channel when it comes to unboxings and especially on the kit ups. I have already taken the plastic off. I have not taken anything out of the box. My box came in great shape too. It does come in another shipping box, but lately, I don't know what UPS and our post office has been doing, but my boxes have been coming in and they look like they have been thrown off the truck and someone reversed and ran over them. But this one is nice and pretty, which I don't really care if a box is pretty or not. I wanna make sure that everything inside is good. So we do have their cover. Dreamer Designs comes in this really nice dust cover but I probably won't need it because I'm probably going to start working on it. But let's just take this out of here. It also says Dreamer Designs, and um, their color scheme is purple. You're going to see a lot of purple on Dreamer Designs. I can see a little ribbon through here. That's purple. I don't know if you guys can see that yet, but that's purple. So let's go ahead. And then the little strings here are purple. So let's go ahead and open this. It's heavy. I am so excited to see this. I I have never really been ecstatic over a painting to where I just am stalking my delivery guy. This did come UPS, but I was just stalking, was looking, couldn't wait until it came in. And I'm not usually like that. So for some reason, I have no idea why, but... This is absolutely calling to me. And it's really strange because I don't like a lot of light colors on diamond paintings. And I mean, look at this. Look how many just glancing at this. And it's squares too. There is quite a bit of white there, but there's a lot of grays and browns in here. And I just, I just can't, you guys. There's two large bags. We also have instructions, a nice book here, paint with passion, how to diamond paint. I do have some videos if you do not know how to diamond paint. And when you do receive your Dreamer Designs, you will receive um, a discount coupon off of your next purchase. I am also an affiliate with Dreamer Designs. I did pay for this. I don't get anything for free from Dreamer Designs. I did pay for this with my hard-earned money, but 
I wanted you to know that I am an affiliate, just to throw that out there. If you would like to save a little money and if you'd like to purchase um, a canvas from Deep Dreamer Designs, then you can use my code. If I receive anything, I put it right back into my channel. That's basically how I got this one, was I had some money that I had saved that came from my channel, and I thought, perfect timing. I'm going to get this. I was going to get it anyway, but that's neither here nor there. Let's look at our toolkit that someone has knotted. And my nails are absolutely horrible. I have got to take some time this week or next week, since I'm off next week, and do my nails. I normally am very particular about my nails. I have just let them go for the past month or so. That is not like me. So we got to get those taken care of. All right, as I said, they love purple. Purple is one of my very favorite colors. So I am excited to see all this purple. We have a purple boat that says Dreamer Designs. It has a lot of glitter on it too. If you, I don't know, it's gonna be hard to see this glittery on the back. It says Dreamer Designs, very pretty. Also it has glittery on the front here has a little door you can open to put your drills out. Put that over the side. We have two plates of wax. There may be more than one in here. Plenty to do this. If you do use this kind of wax, make sure you take the plastic off the top and the bottom. If not, you will not be able to load your pin. And I do like the purple wax. So we do have two of these. So we have two there. Again, it's purple. And then we have a purple squishy. We have a pin here that you can put the squishy on. They do give you a couple of multi-placers. I like the metal tips on the multi-placers. But these are also good. They're thin. That's like a two-placer there. I think that maybe a four or a five-placer, possibly a six. That over to the side. We do have some tweezers. These are the sharp, pointy kind. So if you do use them, make sure you put the covering on or you might poke yourself. That will not be fun. This pen, I've had several people to ask me what exactly that this is because it looks kind of funny. But this can be used for your ABs or your special drills. ABs are Aurora Borealis, and they have more of a shimmer or a shine on them. And sometimes the regular pen doesn't pick up as well on the ABs. And so you can use this as that type of pen if you would like. There's also several baggies if you need to store some of your drills. Then we have a straightener, which is always good when you are multi-placing, especially with squares. I love this bag. It's a nice bag. I do keep these. And then we have, and this one's different than the one that I had the last time. We have a really pretty picture that says White Christmas, McNeil Studio. This is licensed. And this, again, is a 90 by 60 centimeter. There are some stickers here. Also, it says Dreamer Designs. I will put this in my logbook. I just love this picture. And then we have 73 colors. I don't even know how many colors was in this, to be honest. I just wanted it. And so I thought, well, I'll figure it out whenever I open it. So here we are. We have 73 colors. Uh, some of the symbols are a little different that I'm not used to seeing, um, but they're not bad. There's not anything that I can see right off the top that I have problems with. I have problems with the number eight and a capital B. And I don't know why, but I do. But I don't see anything here. Um, there's really not any numbers. Well, there's a number two there. I don't understand why companies do this, but Number two is not, the, the two symbol is not the two on the table here. It is 32. But um, I don't know, understand why that companies do that, but they do. 
Just like nine on here is not a number nine on the table, it is a number 72. And three is a 73 and not a number three, but that's an AB. There are four ABs in this kit, and I might add more. I don't know. It just really depends. I don't know if this would be something that I'd really want to bling up heavily. So let's look at the canvas. I'm going to flip this over and roll it backwards just to see if I can straighten it just a little bit. The bottom part of this, the top is already starting to straighten. This is soft lint. I'm just going to try to do this. You can do this if this is poured glue. If it is double-sided adhesive, you do not want to do this. Because if you do, you are going to stand the chance of ruining your canvas. Now, this one does have a few wrinkles here on the end. And I'm just going to kind of straighten that up a little bit. It's just on the actual end, not where I'm going to dye paint. But that would drive me crazy because my hand's going to hit it. So, I'm going to flatten this out with a book. I might even tape it down to my diamond painting table. But, oh my gosh, look how pretty that this is. It is a large one. But I'm so excited. I just, the fireplace and the stockings here. I love the mantle and it has a wreath. It has everything you need. The bookshelf over here has another Christmas trees. It has a reindeer here with a little dog there. And we have a star. I mean, there's so much going on in this. There's a little table here next to the sofa. And we have some more garland that goes all the way around there. Some Christmas presents here at the bottom. And we have um, this little white. I don't know if that is a little footstool. I think that's what that is. And then we have another couch here on the end. And then the large tree over here. And again, it is wrinkled kind of bad. I can always iron that. I'm hesitant to do it. I can do it. Um, but I don't iron my clothes. So I really don't want to be ironing a canvas. And I'm really scared that I might damage it. I've done it before. But it's not so bad. And it's because I think it's been in this box for a while. I'm assuming just in shipment and everything, but I think that it will be fine. I will just leave it out. I, it's And it's not the drill field that is wrinkly. It is just the outside part, which that would just drive me crazy because it's gonna be hitting my wrist more than likely. But we have another larger tree here and it looks like there's a window here and it looks possibly snow on the outside. And then we have another couch here, sofa, with some pillows, more presents. But I am just absolutely in awe of this. Um, looks like it's going to be some color blocking and some confetti. Color blocking is where you have a lot of the same color in the same area. For instance, this is going to be 5200, which I know what that is, that's white. That is why you have so many of these. That's going to be quite a bit. And then, so I will definitely get my multi-placer out, multi-place all of that. There's some multi-placing in there too. It looks like on the wreath and on the mantle, there is a combination of color blocking and confetti. I think on this tree, if we go over here a little bit, the tree has a lot of confetti. But it's not so much color blocking, because I don't like to do a lot of color blocking. It's not so much color blocking that I'm going to get bored. And it is a combination. I think the way that I'm going to work on it, because it is so wide, I don't know. I'm probably, I'm not sure how I'm going to work on it yet. I will figure that out. It obviously does not fit all on my table at one time, 
but I will have it rolled up and just work on the part that I'm going to be putting my diamonds on and the other will be rolled up until I'm able to get to it. Looks like there may be a little dog here looking at the fireplace. Can't really tell, but I will pan over this and that way you can see it. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of difficult because I can't get all this in. There's just no way. I cannot get all this in here. Even painting over it, I am not going to be able to do this. So let's just go. I'll just do this slowly so you guys can see everything on here. I think that would be more enjoyable than just painting over and doing a video. Although I could definitely paint over have a short little video for you guys and have some Christmas music going. But I'm all about this. I am sorry. I just, I just can't. I just am so happy. I just cannot tell you guys. And I have not been this happy and this ecstatic over wanting a canvas so bad. I was so disappointed when I couldn't get it. And then I thought when I was in the mountains, that they had released it and I missed it immediately. I was so disappointed. And then they said that was a glitch and then I was ready. When they said they were going to open it up for 47 new or 47 of their canvases that had sold out, I was one of the first ones that clicked on that button. I was ready. I got this in no time. Didn't take me any time. I don't think I've ever checked out that fast. But I'm just so excited about this. I don't want to go through all of the drills right now because if I open this, there'll be no stopping. But if I open this, I know what's going to happen is that I will never get this back in here. But I'll be kidding it up soon anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But there are a lot of drills in here. I was excited when I received the snow castle because I knew that one's going to be a lot of fun and it was so large and it's going to be, you know, fun because it is one of the longest ones, but this one, I just am, I don't know, I'm enamored. I am just so excited, cannot, just cannot wait. But that's all the drills. The ABs are, as I said, there's four. There are are kind of a light green. I think this one's going, this is one of the ABs here. That one is sprinkled around, I think around the tree. Some of the ornaments, it's also in the fireplace here, which I think that's gonna be really pretty. And like I said, I made it putting some more in, I don't know. I may just go with it the way that it is because it's so pretty. I may just keep it exactly how it's rendered. So stay tuned for a kidding up on this one. If you are not subscribed, please consider doing so. I have more content, especially when it comes to this one. I'm going to be kidding it up very shortly. I'm also going to be doing a video a day in December like I did last year. And so if you are not subscribed, if you do subscribe, you will be able to see that content as soon as it comes out. You will be notified. And if you don't mind, click on the like button before you leave. If you like this video, that does help to get my videos out there into the huge world of YouTube. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.